Are cages good for gorillas? I'm Dave Crenshaw and it's time to pick Dave's brain. This week's question comes from Rafael. Hi Dave, here's Rafael from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Some days ago, I had the great opportunity to attend one of your lectures in Chicago. And I had a doubt. Uh, if I put my gorilla in a cage, is it possible to change his mindset? Thank you. Great question, Rafael. He's referring to what I talk about in both my speech and book on the focused business. The gorilla is someone in your company who's very strong, who has lots of great attributes, but they also make a mess everywhere that they go. And I said in my presentation, there are two ways to deal with a gorilla. You can either cage them or you can release them into the wild. By caging them, I mean you give them a clear set of boundaries and rules that they need to follow, and by releasing them into the wild, I mean, well, you fire them. Now your question, Rafael, is can we really rehabilitate a gorilla by putting them into a cage? The odds of this happening are about, well, the same as flipping a coin. If you flip a coin and you get about a 50-50 result, that's about the same result you're gonna get by putting the gorilla in the cage. The act of having the conversation with them, of just leveling with them and saying, look, we need you to change your performance and I'm gonna measure how you progress over the next few weeks. That conversation can often be a wake-up call. And if you can rehabilitate a gorilla, that's far better than firing them, of course, because they're a great employee. So I think it's worth a shot at putting them into the cage first. Then if it doesn't work out, you can feel confident that you gave it your best shot of having them continue to work for the company. Thanks for the question, Rafael. If you want to pick Dave's brain, you can ask a question by clicking on the button underneath this video or simply going to davecrenshaw.com forward slash ask. I look forward to seeing what you come up with.